Hey, I'm going to be showing you how to make a keto flax McMuffin. Before I start, I just have to warn you, for this you need a microwave, and if you want to put anything inside of it and heat it up, you're going to need a toaster oven. To start, you're going to need two eggs. Uh, if you want to add in something, another egg inside, you're going to need a third egg. You're going to need some salt. We use salt that has potassium in it. You're going to need some oil. doesn't matter which oil. The taste only changes very slightly. And most importantly, you need baking powder. And for the baking powder, you're going to need a measurement of a teaspoon. Uh, finally, if you want to put something inside of the uh, flax muffin, you're going to need some cheese. doesn't really matter what cheese. Uh, uh, it'll change the flavor. You can try out different cheeses. I realized something that you need in, in this recipe that I completely forgot. The flax. So... Uh, you could uh, use any kind of uh, ground flax, organic or non, it doesn't matter. For it, you're going to need a fourth cup, so get a fourth cup measurement. All right, now take your two eggs and crack them into a bowl. Note that you're going to be putting this bowl into the microwave later, so pick a good bowl. Mix that up. Uh, add in some oil, and uh, just like, I don't know, that's enough. It doesn't really matter how much oil you add. It takes the flax flavoring out. The flax flavoring is not that tasty, and the oil makes it bad. So next comes the dry ingredients. Put in a fourth cup of flax. Try and spread it around. Add in the salt. Uh, just put it in throughout. Add in the baking powder, one teaspoon. Flat. And spread it around. And mix it up very well. The main thing you have to watch for is the baking powder. Uh, you shouldn't see any whites left over because uh, they will make it look worse. All right, it's ready for microwaving. Put it in the microwave. Two minutes. Once out of the microwave, it should have risen a bit. Slap it onto a pan. Might take several tries to get out. I happen to have a bread knife, but you could use it whatever knife that you got, and split it into two. This is especially if you want to put something inside of it. One slice on the top, and two slices on the bottom portion. Uh, depending on the cheese, you might need to take the corners off. another egg inside of this. You're going to need to use that same bowl. Put that egg into there. All right. Now, this is an important part. We're going to microwave this egg. Now, poking it, I've learned from experience, doesn't work as well as salting it. Salting it works wonders. Microwave this for 45 seconds. 45 seconds. out of the microwave. Now get some random object to scrape the edges of the egg off of the plate. I'm going to put it onto this egg McMuffin. Flip it over on top. Put it onto a heating tray and into a toaster oven. It shall go. Put it to toast for the usual amount of time you would toast some bread. All right, once it's out of the oven, we're gonna use a spatula to take it off and the top. And it's ready to serve. Mmm, delicious.
positions.